I bought a brand new pair of cross country ski boots for this season and it's manufactured by Alpha. It's a Norwegian boot and this particular model is the Scarvet. It's a triple NBC boot and uh, it's a very well made boot. Alpha boots were real popular back in the 70s and the first three pin boot that I ever owned was a set of Alpha boots. And uh, they, I, I like them so much. I, I skied them for about a decade and I wore out two different pairs before I moved on to something a little more sturdy. And uh, about that time frame, uh, Telmark skiing was really starting to catch on. And uh, I moved up to a set of Merrill leather boots. And after about 20 years, my, my Merrill boots had finally worn out. And uh, I decided that it was time to move up to this century. And I started down the road of checking out plastic boots. One of the reasons I was very interested in it this year is that it is uh, on the upper end of as far as stability goes for lateral control. It also uh, is touted as having good flexibility for cruising along on the flats. And it's all supposed to be a, a durable boot. Let's take a look at these, these two boots. They're very different in design. The uh, Rossignol BCX6 boots, it's a, a full synthetic boot. It's got this Cordura lace cover, and the uh, external parts all synthetic as near as I can tell. The Alphas, on the other hand, it's a full grain leather, and uh, the lace is obviously on the outside, but it uh, has a Gore-Tex membrane for waterproofness, very well insulated, has this toe cap for protection, and also this heel cap, which really uh, stiffens the boot up. A little closer examination. I'm going to see how flexible they are and how much they resist a torsional twist. And uh, how sturdy they are for in the ankles. This definitely is a, a good stiff boot and offers lots of ankle support. I can confirm that with the skis that I've done. In comparison, I can essentially take this Rossignol and I can literally twist the boot. The sole just twists very easily. It's a much more flexible boot. And while this exoskeleton gives you some lateral support. It's, it's really a couple notches down as far as ankle support in comparison to the Scarvets. I'm skiing a forest service road in the Caribou National Forest. This is my fifth outing with these boots and I'm still in the break-in phase. I do like the way the boots ski, being sort of an old school design with full grain leather. For me, they're not as comfortable as what you pull out of the box from Fisher and Rossignol. I guess that's uh, one of the penalties you pay for having a leather boot. They do need some time and miles to soften up a bit and deform to your feet. Well, a few of my viewers have asked to see me use these Alpha Scarvet boots on for turns. So we're going to try that. Actually, this is going to be an interesting run because, not because it's steep, but because the snow is really, really heavy. And we have a combination of snowmobile ruts and, of course, my ski ruts. So it's not going to be pretty, but uh, this is just exactly the kind of conditions that you want to test these boots out in. If they'll handle this kind of snow, then you know they'll do just fine when the conditions are much better.
really like this this boot. Um, it seems to be well made. It's warm. It has good flexibility for cruising along in the flats. It offers a lot more stability, a lot more ankle stability and ankle support than I've seen on many of the synthetic boots that I've skied on in recent years. The, uh, the only downside for me is I've put about 25 miles on these boots and I've been forming heel blisters and I'm just not quite sure whether or not I'm going to be able to make these work for me. Um, typically leather boots do require time to break in. Synthetic boots are usually pretty comfortable right out of the box. Um, I may continue to try to ski these on a few more ski trips, but for now I'm going to have to give my feet a break. Overall, my impressions are a real good high quality boot. Um, I think anybody that if they get a good fit on these are going to be very satisfied with them. And of course with REI, if you buy them through REI, I'm not sponsored by them, but if you buy them through REI and they don't work out for you, they have a really, really good re return policy.